Example 10. Let A be a 3 by 3 matrix containing the elements 3, negative 1, 4, 1, negative 2, 7, 5, negative 1, 10. Find the determinant of A by expanding along the first row. In order to find the determinant of A by expanding along the first row, what we are expanding here are the cofactors along the first row. Bear in mind that the sign of cofactors in the first row is plus minus plus. To find the determinant of A by expanding the cofactors along the first row, write down the three elements from the first row with the correct sign of cofactors placed before them. 3 with a positive in front of it, negative 1 with a negative in front of it, and 4 with a positive in front of it. The element 3 is from the first row and first column. Now, carefully blocking the first row and first column, the determinant of the remaining elements, negative 2, 7, negative 1, 10, is found using the product of negative 2 and 10 minus the product of 7 and negative 1. This gives us negative 13 and this value is multiplied with 3. Moving on to the next element in the first row which is negative 1. Negative 1 is in the first row and second column. Carefully blocking the first row and second column leaves us with 1, 7, 5, 10. The determinant of the remaining elements here is found by calculating the product of 1 and 10 minus the product of 7 and 5. This gives us negative 25 and this value is multiplied with negative 1. The final element in the first row is 4. 4 is in the first row and third column. Carefully blocking the first row and third column leaves us with 1, negative 2, 5, negative 1. The determinant of the remaining elements here is found by calculating the product of 1 and negative 1 minus the product of negative 2 and 5. This gives us 9 and this value is multiplied with 4. Now, we can equate the determinant of A to the expression 3 times negative 13 minus negative 1 times negative 25 plus 4 times 9. This gives us the value of the determinant of A to be negative 28. Question B. Find the determinant of A by expanding along the first column. In order to find the determinant of A by expanding along the first column, what we are expanding here are the cofactors along the first column. Bear in mind that the sign of cofactors in the first column is plus minus plus. To find the determinant of A by expanding the cofactors along the first column, write down the three elements from the first column with the correct sign of cofactors placed before them. 3 with a positive in front of it, 1 with a negative in front of it, and 5 with a positive in front of it. The element 3 is from the first column and first row. Now carefully blocking the first column and first row, the determinant of the remaining elements negative 2, 7, negative 1, 10 is found using the product of negative 2 and 10 minus the product of 7 and negative 1. This gives us negative 13 and this value is multiplied with 3. Moving on to the next element in the first column which is 1. 1 is in the first column and second row. Carefully blocking the first column and second row leaves us with negative 1, 4, negative 1, 10. The determinant of the remaining elements here is found by calculating the product of negative 1 and 10 minus the product of 4 and negative 1. This gives us negative 6 and this value is multiplied with 1. The final element in the first column is 5. 5 is in the first column and third row. Carefully blocking the first column and third row leaves us with negative 1, 4, negative 2, 7. 
The determinant of the remaining elements here is found by calculating the product of negative 1 and 7 minus the product of 4 and negative 2. This gives us 1 and this value is multiplied with 5. Now, we can equate the determinant of A to the expression 3 times negative 13 minus 1 times negative 6 plus 5 times 1. This gives us the value of the determinant of A to be negative 28. Do take note that the answer for the determinant of A is the same for both when we expanded the cofactors along the first row and the first column. You should get the same answer regardless of which row or column you choose to expand. Try it for yourself and you will see what I mean here.